So in this Cyberpunk 2077 video, I bring you the locations of eight new iconic items introduced with the Phantom Liberty DLC. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I have already made two videos of other iconic weapons uh, throughout this game. Those videos will be found linked down below. As soon as I do find them all, I will bring you guys ultimate guide on said secret loot. But there are still some in the game files that people haven't found yet. Today guys, I bring you 8 further iconic items you don't want to miss. So let's go guys. Okay, so here we have the Cutomatic X mod. Two. So this iconic chain sword is just an advanced version of a previous weapon we have seen which allows you to apply more mods to it. So to get this thing guys it's quite simple. Come to this point on the map and grab it. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Reju. Now this is one of my favorite weapons in this game. A new tech SMG, which hits like a train. Shots do not require charging to penetrate obstacles and headshots have a greater crit chance. I mean, I love this weapon. So to get this guys, you wanna to come to this point on the map right here and sink deep into this tunnel fortress. It is an increased criminal activity area and as you progress through these tunnels you will meet the gang leader who goes by the name of Ross Uma. Now initially guys he runs off, uh, laying traps, this and the other, but you will meet up to him if you keep going deeper and deeper. Now when you do take this wannabe mech out, on his body will have a cash access card, so grab this thing along with whatever else you want. Now simply from this point guys, come up this ramp to find his stash right here, where you can pick up this new tech SMG. Okay, so next up guys, we have this amazing, deserter, iconic, power, double barreled shotgun, and man oh man, this thing is so powerful. Killing an enemy engulfs you in flames, except when you're at low health, this grants you increased movement speed and increased mitigation chance. So pretty cool, and again, this thing hits like a truck. So to get this thing guys, you need to make the right choices within a side gig called the man who killed Jason Foreman. So this gig starts right here, on the map. Now as you progress to the end of this gig you will come to this room right here. Within it where you more or less get access to this weapon you firstly have to take out Yasha Ivanov who upon doing this you can go ahead and speak to Rhonda who's back in this room. Now it's important that whatever you do do not shoot and kill him just select any other options of dialogue uh, just do not put a bullet in him. So select any of the options here guys, but as soon as you get a chance to put that gun to his head, not kill him, but when you get the option to, or the prompt to put the weapon to his head, do this. You will then get the option to lower your weapon, you also want to do this too. Here guys, he will give you access to his secret loot stash, which is where you want to come to after dropping off the dog tags to Brianna. So progress on guys, drop off the dog tags and you'll eventually get to Runda's secret stash. In here guys, there's plenty of loot but make sure you grab this incredible shotgun. Next up guys, we have the option between two Iconics here. Well, if you're a female V anyway, it seems. So the items are the Baby Boomer Baseball Bat and Lena's Tank Top. The latter, I believe, is only available if you are a female V. 
So you want to go ahead to this gig right here on the map. It's called Dazed and Confused. To be honest, it's quite short. It took me about 10 minutes to complete. So within this gig, guys, you meet Shank and then a little later on, you'll meet Lena. The end of this gig sees you having to pick certain choices and you want to do this right. So eventually you'll get to play the director of set where you are given three choices to tell Lena. For me, the top two choices are of tell him that he's your sister and convince him that he's a clone created by the FIA will give you the baby boomer baseball bat, where when you finish this mission after selecting either of these two, Lena will leave the club, send you a message telling you she's left you a present, and it's basically on the side in this place. Now the third dialogue option which is send tools letter and hear your lines. This I believe if you're a female V and you pick this, you will get Lena's tank top which is located downstairs within this building. I mean I reloaded my save to try this, I picked the third option, I actually went through every option, I never got this tank top, but then my V is male. So it wasn't here for me. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Pizdet's iconic Smart SMG. So the longer this weapon is fired, the greater that crit chance. So this weapon is tied to a gig called the Spy in the Jungle. This is quite a long gig, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it took me about 20 minutes to do. So this gig starts off with you meeting Anna and Steven. Uh, you quickly then go on to search for Mark Banner. Eventually guys, you will get to this point right here, where you will meet a mini boss called Rybakov. This slimy bastard goes invisible and shoots you from a distance, so chase his ass down and hand his ass to him. Now upon you taking him out, this iconic weapon can be found on his body. So grab it guys, and go on to finish this gig. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Her Majesty. This iconic power pistol is quite a tool too, I'm not gonna lie. While your optical camo is active, this weapon shots gain perfect accuracy and guaranteed headshot crits along with increased damage as if that's not enough it also comes with a unique built-in silencer so to get this one guys it's quite simple in fact you can't really miss this this one is given to you by alex within the gate together main story mission when you are underground with both alex and reed so yes get this thing sure is her Majesty has been itching to return to active duty. So next up guys, we have this incredible sniper rifle called the Resetsu. This iconic is quickly becoming my favourite weapon in this game. Charged rounds from this weapon penetrate through enemies and will also bend their trajectory to hit multiple targets. I mean, I love this thing. And while well, guys, it's quite straightforward. During the You Know My Name main story mission, you have to help Reed progress through a building while being a sniper lookout. Now I have heard that you can't get caught while doing this. Well we actually got caught towards the end of this segment but I still got this sniper. So definitely keep that in mind guys. But either or, probably make a save before you do this because if you do miss out on this, you're missing out on a great great weapon. Okay, so lastly for today's video guys, we have a piece of headgear you get from Lizzie Wizzy. So at the end of the You Know My Name mission where you have to leave the Black Sapphire, at the bar you will find Lizzie. If you speak to her, she rewards you this headpiece free of charge. So yes, pretty cool. Don't miss this thing. But there we have it guys, eight more uniques brand new to the Phantom Liberty DLC. I'm working on another video with plenty of more, so stay tuned for that. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. You'll look like you're on Team Wiz, Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Wow. Thanks, Lizzie. Next release.